An intent is a messaging object which you can use to request an action from another app component. There are three fundamental use cases of intents. Starting an activity, starting a service, delivering a broadcast. An activity represents a single screen in an app. You can start a new instance of an activity by passing an intent to start activity method. The intent describes the activity to start and carries any necessary data to be transmitted to the opened activity. If you want to receive a result from the activity when it finishes, you can use start activity for result method. Your activity receives the result as a separate intent object in your activities own activity result callback method. For more information about activity, see the lecture related to activities. A service is a component that performs operations in the background without a user interface. You can start a service to perform a one-time operation such as downloading a file. The service can be started by passing an intent to start service method. The intent describes the service to start and carries any necessary data. If the service is designated with a client server interface, you can bind to the service from another component by passing an intent to bind service method. For more information about service, see the lecture related to services in Android. A broadcast is a message that any app in the system can receive. The system delivers various broadcasts for system events such as when the system boots up or the device starts charging. You can deliver a broadcast to other apps by passing an intent to send broadcast method or send ordered broadcast methods. There are two types of intents, explicit intents and implicit intents. Explicit intents specify which application will satisfy the intent by supplying either the target app's package name or a fully qualified component class name. You will typically use an explicit intent to start a component in your own app because you know the class name of the activity or service you want to start. For example, you might start a new activity within your app in response to a user action or start a service to download a file in the background. Implicit intents do not name a specific component but instead declare a general action to perform which allows a component from another app to handle it. For example, if you want to show the user a location on a map, you can use an implicit intent to request that another capable app, for example Google Maps, show a specify, specific location on the map. Explicit intents can be compared to the postal system where post mail is specific to a receiver address, whereas implicit intent can be compared to a job notice board. Any person could see the notice board and take up a job.